I graduated college. Yay! But not really. Because I still have one more semester to finish. I just bought commencement, which is really nice of my school to do that. I have one thing left to finish, and I'll go back next semester to finish that, and then I'll get my degree, and then I can say I've officially graduated my college. This video is going to be today about why I made this channel. Um, so here we go. Musical theater, I have a long history with it. It's pretty much my life. I first saw Beauty and the Beast. That was my first musical I saw. And with that, I was actually terrified. I would have probably loved it my age now, but as a young child, I was terrified of the Beast. I was terrified of the cast coming into the audience. It was just a bad experience, and I still remember that to this day. That was my early childhood, and during my childhood, I played the piano, I took piano lessons, in my elementary school, we did plays every single year for every grade level, so I grew up with doing music. The re really big push, I have to say, is attending uh, my local theater here, um, their summer camp, uh, was the York Stage Theater Camp here at home. Um, pretty much, I would go every summer, thanks to my parents for me up for that, um, would go there every single summer and attend the camp. And pretty much at the camp, the campers did acting, uh, singing and dancing, all that musical theater stuff, uh, even preparing them for auditions if they had to go up for audition, which was great. Um, which actually helped me prepare for my audition for one of their main productions of uh, Peter Pan, which I was able to be the Lost Boy, or one of the Lost Boys, in that production. Um, so that really pushed me even further into going to more musical theater stuff. Then there came high school. In high school, I still did a lot of musical theater stuff, but I would say different outlets of musical theater. Um, for the Yorktown Stage Theater Camp, I wasn't a camper anymore. I was too old to be a camper, so then I moved up to being a counselor. So I actually did took on the role of helping the kids, the campers, pretty much have all the fun that I had as a camper and prepare them on, with auditions, um, doing dances, singing songs, and acting. I still did some musicals slash plays here and there. Um, with my local theater, but not really in the sense of me being in them. I actually got paid to do one show um, for them, for stage crew, and then when I was about paycheck, I'm like, this is the way that I can earn money. So I stopped all the acting and singing and dancing possible in my local theater and hopped on their stage crew and pretty much that was all through high school. So I pretty much just did musical theater stuff, but was still handling all the shows and stuff, so I was very involved in that way in the backstage production, so I also have a backstage viewpoint of musical theater, which is great to have. Um, but then also back in high school, in my actual high school, pretty much I still took on doing shows there. That's where I really was on stage. I did amazing shows with amazing people and amazing friends I still have today. Really, with high school, my senior year was really a push. My school was more of pushing for sports than the arts, and we, the arts had to prove ourselves why we deserve to be in the school. We had some difficult times, but we got through it, and I'm happy to see that the arts is still in my high school, so I'm very happy for that. Um, but we just didn't have as much as a push as sports did at the time, so I was really fighting when I did my show my senior year to put on a really good show. I even stepped up to being a lead role. Um, me, I don't like to be a lead role because of so many lines. I don't like to read lines. I like to sing lyrics better um, because lines make me nervous and I hate speaking. Haha, uh -huh, I make a YouTube channel I speak here. But anyways, um, I just didn't like lines and I would always reject getting lead roles for my high school because they always wanted to give it to me. Like some, some big role, I'm like, nope, I'm good. I just give me something I can sing. That was that. Um, until my senior year where I had to really step up as one of the seniors and pretty much take on the role and I got the lead role and I was like wow that was a big deal for me and I really took my time to reading my lines, getting it down, getting my solos, getting everything on point, helping in whatever way not only for my character but everyone else in our production which was on the town. That's where I really grew appreciation even more for the arts. After high school, I thought that would be all over because I went to college. With going to college, I thought, I'm done with musical theater, that's it, it was a great run, I am finished, and that was the end of that. But then I saw uh, my friend post something about the musical theater club on my campus, and I said, this looks interesting. So I auditioned my first semester freshman year, but I didn't get in. And I was 
really, really pissed about that because I was like, why did they take me in? I thought my audition was great. I didn't do, didn't mess up as much. I was just really mad that I didn't get in and I did an audition the next semester. Um, but I did go back to take pictures for that, that following semester of their show because I was a photographer for our school newspaper. But me sitting in an audience, I realized, wow, I really do miss being on stage. I need to get back up out there and I have to audition again. So I did for the next two semesters of my, my sophomore year, I did audition um, and I got in my second semester of my sophomore year, which was great. And I made great connections, great friends that I still have today and I miss them dearly. Um, and it's another family that I have on campus. And with that, Musical Theater Club was my life in college. I went to rehearsals every single weekend. Um, I would later on when I was older, and not older, but up there pretty much with my uh, class ranking, like a junior, um, or in senior year, I would direct numbers and choreograph numbers, which was amazing. So I have that aspect of all of appreciation of those people who put up numbers and direct and choreograph. That's not the easiest thing. I really did love it, and I don't regret doing it once, one bit. Um, I love, and that pretty much got me to the pushing point of, I love musical theater. I wish I was a musical theater major, but I couldn't because I wanted to be education, and that just is a lot of time for two majors like that. It's a lot of commitment from both majors, so I couldn't be able to do it. Anyways, my musical theater club members, some of them were musical theater majors. With that, we have to go, we don't have to, but it was always an honor to go to their senior recitals. When I went to go see their senior recitals, it was just like, why can't I do that? Why can't I sing songs that I want to sing? Um, so, and me watching YouTube, I see a lot of people posting about their daily lives or what's in pop culture, just anything in general, out of the blue. Um, so I thought to myself, I can't have a senior recital, why not I create a YouTube channel instead about musical theater channel, with about musical theater and hence the musical theater geek channel that I have today. And with that, yes, it's kind of me putting myself out there um, for musical theater to see what happens in the future. Um, me being an education major, I'll probably be a teacher, but if I can be something musical theater, that'd be great. It's not only just for myself, it's also for to give awareness of musical theater in schools. In all public schools, elementary, high school, even colleges, where the first thing to go for programs is the arts, which is unfortunate. I feel like skills from the arts can be easily placed in relation to benefiting for all these other courses that we have to take in our education lifetime, such as math, English, stuff like that. Like, they're all integrated and it's a shame that the arts is pushed aside and then again it's the first thing cut when budgets are cut and the programs that get cut are the arts i do want to raise awareness for the arts in schools if i'm a teacher well gonna be a teacher and as a teacher and a person who loves music theater i believe that the arts are really important and it's a key factor of why i'm making this channel why i have this channel because I want to show people like this is what musical theater is and this is what it has to offer and this is what is great about it and you should love it. Maybe like it even, you don't have to love it like I do, but just have an appreciation for it and it shouldn't be cut from children to have their chance of them appreciating it as well. So that's the reason why and a whole long story of why I made this channel. That's the end of this video. Um, but I have some announcements. I'll be seeing more shows in New York City hopefully soon, so you'll see more musical theater reviews, and I'm hopefully working to record more cover songs. I haven't done, I haven't done some in the past. Um, well, lately I haven't done some because I just don't know what song to do. I want to just, again, use the channel to show everything that musical theater has to offer. So with that, like I always said at the end of these videos, keep being musical.